Um, no, I would say smoky. Smoky more than spicy? Sweet? Um, I mean, I want to say perfect. I mean, bacon, eggs, uh, chilies. Orale, es el mejor de México. So yeah, it's perfect. Translate for us, Francisco. He said it was really good. <laughs> it's an awesome breakfast. I love the smoky um, sauce. It's such a nice flavor, not too hot at all. And fresh pecorino, I've never had. It's really tasty. Thank you. Uh, I totally love this dish. I mean, it's awesome. I love the bacon fat all over the place. Um, that sauce was deceivingly dark red, and the flavor is just deep and rich and smoky, and it, it's an awesome breakfast food. This is a really, really good dish, and great use of the secret ingredient. Well, it looks like we might have a 10 out of 10 contender with this one. Um, it just needs to be rolled up in a tortilla. <laughs> Live in life. Hey, Janet, you got to tell us what we have here? Uh, we have a poutine version. Uh, the fries are made out of celery root and fennel um, with uh, duck breast on top. Again, we used uh, Monforte's Pecorino Fresco. And uh, the sauce is uh, red wine and tomatoes. And you saw what This is the dish made. that she did for you, Chuck. She planned, she planned a poutine no matter what. She knew you were coming. <laughs> We all remember Chuck Vanquish Bobby played with the lobster poutine. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still on the fence. I'm trying to get the judges to, to rejudge that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Poor Bobby. I'm still in bacon. Come on. <laughs> we have a place in town that serves a lobster poutine. Yeah, no, I heard, I heard. Yeah, simple fish and chips right around the corner on Mon just on Mondays. But, uh, My day off. Chuck's day off. I think I see a future episode. <laughs> yeah. We have to realize this is a one hour competition. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't necessarily get this quality of, of uh, you know, depth and flavor in terms of the sauce. You know what I mean? So you can't cheat stock. You can't make it. You know, and I know like people, you can buy it, but you can't cheat that flavor. So a lot of the stuff in here is is really authentic and real. For an hour, it's uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty big. Um, Accomplishment. So yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely there. That's great. I hear that, Chuck. Like, let's give it a hand for the for the chefs for doing what they did in an hour. I think I'm gonna like this. So um, yeah, basically it's just like a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Only it's partridge. It's just a very light spiced batter um, with a celery root slaw. So it's sort of a play on a southern meal, and then a cornbread, which we've used the bacon in as well. Some of the bacon fat, um, a little bit of jalapeno, um, and some scallion, and a little bit of maple syrup. Very traditional Mexican. Traditional Mexican. <laughs> so I gotta say, the presentation on that one's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely composed, nice colors, nice yellow. And the crispy skin looks really, really good. I hope you guys need some for me to try. Delicious. Blew my grip. This is a kind of a savory dessert, cheese course all in one. It's a traditional Scottish shortbread underneath with uh, caramelized apples, squash, and bacon with honey and white wine. And on top is some of um, Monforte's sheep's milk ricotta with a little lemon zest and a tiny bit of sugar. So it's a kind of sweet and salty surprise. Just like you right there, a little sweet and salty. I have a cookie for you, Steve. That is a phenomenal looking dessert, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, it's, it's, it's delicious. It really is. It truly is. It's, uh, you know, I, I'm always a bit uh, nervous with, uh, you know, sweet, salty, you know, it can turn very gimmicky very fast. You know what I mean? Um, but this is really, really... I would have this as a dessert. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it works. it's not just a competition piece where, you know, we try to be crazy. Make bacon ice cream yeah, or something. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It actually works and it's an honest, uh, real dessert. I'm curious, so is there any uh, desserts in your book about odd bits? Um, I have a, a chocolate blood ice cream. Chocolate uh, blood ice cream. My favorite. Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Halloween. Everybody, congratulations to the chefs. Come on up here, guys. Yeah, 
Francisco Alejandro, Lisa, Janet Ashworth, and Tanya. Okay. okay. The scores are in. <laughs> and by only a fraction of a score, like the scores are Just hold on a second. Francisco, Janet, come on up. So it was really, really close. One got 210 total, and the other got 217 total. And both of them had perfects on Chuck's uh, scorecard. So why don't you guys come right up to the front here. So the winner of the very first Saber Strawford Chef Challenge is Francisco Alejandro. Janet, you did a great job too. You did a really good job. Congratulations. And with that gift card, you get to eat Janet's cooking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words? No, that was a lot of fun and uh, great, you know, no meanness, which I like. I'm happy. Well, there's a lot of cooperation. And where are you going now? Uh, we're going to go do lunch at County Foods, and I think we have just enough time. <laughs> I just, uh, I just want to thank all the organizers in Stratford. Uh, I love, I love, love, love this uh, city, and uh, yeah, I feel at home every time I come here. Excellent, thank you. All right, over to Andrew. Thanks, everybody. It's been a really good time for Paul and I.